The demands on our customers are greater than just having their steel frame be provided on time. It's more about the whole project for them, so we're only a small po portion of that, but our role impacts the whole project and we're such an early trade that it's critical that we stick and maintain to our program, if not exceed their expectations in that front so they can continue with their project. Largely it's coordination and communication. That could be from anywhere, from the sales cycle I suppose, all the way through to the, the, you know, the Form 16 at the end of the project. I guess the key point for us early on is understanding our customers' needs. Um, communication is an important factor for us. We like to get in and discuss with the customers what they need, um, any regulatory requirements that they've got, and how we can assist them with achieving their, their project. We have a large variety of projects on the go at any one point, uh, ranging from large townhouse projects through to small granny flats, each having their own specific requirements and our design, logistics and site teams consistently operate at a level above industry standard. We lead the largest uh, design team here in Australia for the framing solutions industry. The team that we work with also have a, probably a combined amount of 50 years experience. Uh, we've got guys who uh, come from a timber background, uh, even architectural background, um, other structural steel backgrounds. And sometimes people come to us just with the concept, so not really much dimensioning going on there, not much detail, uh, but with a bit of input from us, based on our experience with a lot of projects we've worked on, we give them ideas, some pointers, um, and then we'll take that plan and then just produce, you know, sort of extrude the, uh, what was the crumpled up piece of paper into a proper 3D model. Uh, so the software um, basically converts your 2D um, floor plan I guess into a 3D model within the program that you can then adjust um, all your studs and logs to specific positions and um, you know whatever requirements the client needs for, for the build. A lot of systems out there will only use sort of uh, templated style uh, design um, where we can sort of take the template but then break it down and, and, then, and put a bit of a personal touch on it that the customer needs. Uh, so it's, it's a bit of a bit more hands-on, which is nice, with just that uh, flexibility in the line. Yeah, no, I think we're the biggest in Queensland. We've got the capabilities to roll more metres than most other companies. At the moment we're rolling between 10 and 15,000 metres per day and still got the capabilities of um, ramping up more. We can roll up to 10 double storey townhouses in a shift if we have to. We've got so many different projects on the go. Um, communication is our biggest thing. If we don't communicate, we don't get stuff to side in time, but that's our biggest advantage, I think, is our crew. We have a good crew out there. We have communication to you know, Nick Addison, our site manager, and to subbies on site who get it out there on time. So programming is pretty key to what we do. You know, at any given day, we could have anywhere from 10 men up to 65 men on site. So programming and coordination and resources on any given site. How can we get it, you know, through the design aspect quicker? How can we get it manufactured quicker? You know, with obviously maintaining accuracy, how do we get it to site? How do we get it installed in the right time frame to better the builder's program? I mean, where AFS are what you call a critical path trade. So, you know, the contracts issued to us, the design, the engineering, the input from the consultants into manufacture and then commencing on site. We need to be on site on the day that we committed to. We need to be able to hand over on the day that we committed to so that the following trades, your roofer, your doors, your windows, your clatters, if we don't finish on time, those guys will go and find another job and the builder will struggle to have them on the day that they need. So the QA, or quality control uh, process, that involves uh, anything from the beginning of the build, checking the slabs out before we even start standing frames, um, through to ensuring that our frames are all true, positioned correctly, plumb, aligned, everything so that you've got a, a decent finished product that the next trades that come through can actually work with it without uh, defects. Um, we're pretty much one of the only companies that uh, 
enforce this um, on all of our builds and um, at the end of the day we get a better outcome, a better quality product. So generally we end up finishing our jobs before the timelines set by the builders, their, their programs, which is always a positive as well so the next trades can get in a lot quicker. Um, end dates of programs as well in the builds, generally we are quite far ahead of that as well. So. Their project is going to run as smoothly as possible. We're going to deliver what we say we're going to deliver. It's going to be in full on time and on budget every time.